Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you. In this one, we're talking about a crayfish party or the Kress Riva. That's coming up. As you could see, guys, you got to see some of my footage from the crayfish party that I went to two weeks ago. I've been in Sweden now for six years, and I have gone to a total of three crayfish parties. My first year I went to one, I went to one two years ago, and then I went to this one this year, and it was in Sutterthalia. Crayfish parties are typically at the end of August and sometimes in early September. As far as I can tell, it's just kind of a way, well, crayfish is already in season, and it's kind of a way to celebrate the end of summer and just take advantage of the nice weather. You can eat inside or eat outside, and you can have the funny hats or not have funny hats. If you're invited to a crayfish party, I would probably dress a little bit nicer than I did. I like to wear sometimes more casual clothes with like Nikes and stuff. I probably wore a dress, would have wore a dress shirt if I would have done it again. So that's one thing. Also, when you go to a party in Sweden, you're going to want to bring your own alcohol. But I want to stress very clearly that I find that crayfish parties in Sweden are kind of like a very big drinking holiday. And Swedes can drink uh, not... They think you just drink more than I think other other people. So plan on bringing alcohol, bringing your own alcohol, but also pace yourself because at some point at the end of the night, someone's going to ask you if you want to take uh, have a shot of snops. Someone's going to offer it to you if you go there, and you're going to want to pace yourself because Swedes can go until four or five in the morning uh, sometimes. So when you're going to a crayfish party, it's definitely going to be a late night. I think it's super cute and adorable the crayfish balloons that I saw the crayfish hats that sometimes I've worn at parties, and just the crayfish like napkins. I just love the whole idea of it. It's really, really fun. It's an awesome place to go if you don't know someone. Like if you get invited to a party, you get an awesome chance to meet people. Sweets are very social at a crayfish party. It might take a couple hours, <laughs> but once everybody is feeling good, you get a chance to go around and talk to everybody. That's kind of what it was this time for me. I had a lot of fun going around and talking to everybody. As you got to see, footage of eating the crayfish, uh, you gotta break it apart. Well, you, you gotta suck it first. So you suck the uh, salt and then you break it. Uh, and then you gotta take all the shell off of the tail. And then there's a little part there that you can see that's like got the poop in it. Take out the poop. And you gotta go ahead and pull, peel that back. Then you can dip it in a sauce or something if you want to. And then you can go ahead and eat it. Uh, it took me about three years to kind of develop a taste, and this last time I really enjoyed the, the crayfish. You can also, with some of the bigger crayfish, you can eat the claws as well. You can break them apart and eat the meat out of there. It's like really funny because it's like a, such a messy way to eat. It's not something you would want to do on a first date. It's <laughs> eat crayfish with someone else. But it tastes good, and crayfish are already in season, so I think that's kind of where this has started in Sweden. But I've always seen it as just an excuse to kind of have fun in the summer and party one last time before the end of the summer. Crayfish party, I'm sure you can do it with kids and things like that, but it's typically an adult affair where people in Sweden kind of cut back and let loose a little bit more. And uh, it's a great way to meet people if you have a chance to meet anyone. Crayfish parties are awesome for that because everybody's in an awesome mood and they're going to be there for such a long time. We ended up playing a lot of games when we were there as well, uh, which I very much enjoyed. It was awesome this time to go because uh, a lot of the games we played and everything was like in Swedish and I was the only one there not in Swedish or not Swedish. And it, I was able to really practice and train my language more and kind of stay with everybody or holo midmere with everything that was going on which was really really fun for me and I didn't stress and think so much about like the Swedish I just kind of went along and I had an awesome night uh, I went with my girlfriend and met, hung out with her group of friends and it was just an awesome time we were in Sutter Talia which is a nice city it was beautiful to be there I've, I've only been there a couple times at the train station so it was nice to get a chance to move around and walk around 
an overall a great and fun experience and I would definitely recommend it. So if you're gonna go, wear nice clothes, pace yourself, plan on it being a late night, and be thankful if you get invited to one of these things because you're in the inn in Sweden if you get invited to a crayfish party. But people are gonna be curious. Swedes love to take a look at someone eating a crayfish for the first time uh, that doesn't normally do it to see if you're gonna like it or not. I know that in parts of the United States you can eat crayfish. It wasn't something that I normally ate. I think we would kind of view it as a a bottom feeder kind of animal. Uh, if you think about it, it's really just a freshwater lobster. So it's really not so bad and it was great. Everything was wonderful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.